everyone, and welcome to ReSimply's YouTube channel. My name is Ty Franklin, and I'm a full-time real estate investor entrepreneur. And in this video, I'll be talking about the list stacking feature within ReSimply CRM. Some of you may already have an idea on what list stacking is, and there are others of you that may not have a clue. But at the end of this video, no matter which person you are, you will understand why list stacking is important and exactly how to use it within ReSimply CRM. Are you pulling lists from different sources and having a hard time keeping them organized? Are you currently having a hard time sorting out your list? Maybe you're using Google spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets, maybe they're scattered across your computer on the desktop, or maybe just in a Google Drive folder that's just all over the place? Or how about this one? And I'm pretty sure this happened to you because this happened to me. Have you ever skipped traced the same property more than once because it may have appeared on multiple lists, which cost you more money? Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not alone, and that is where list stacking comes into play to solve all of those issues. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a full understanding on why list stacking is important and how to effectively use it. The list stacking feature in ReSimply CRM allows you to organize your data. So whenever you are pulling lists from county records or whatever software or platform that you're downloading your list from, you upload it into ReSimply CRM into the list stacking feature and it'll allow you to organize your data by utilizing tags so you can appropriately tag those lists from where you got the list from and what type of list that they are. Do you recall when I mentioned a few moments ago about skip tracing the same property more than once that's costing you more money? Well that's where the list stacking feature comes into play. It allows you to remove those duplicates that are showing up on multiple lists. So you do not have to skip trace the same properties more than once. And since we're talking about skip tracing, you can also skip trace those property addresses that you do not have numbers for with the click of a button inside of the list stacking feature. Now, one of my personal favorite features inside the list stacking is the ability to create targeted seller lists that you can specifically send marketing to in order to generate new leads and opportunities to close deals. For example, if you have a list of vacant properties that you have uploaded from previous softwares or platforms into the list stacking, you can select all the vacant properties, sort them out, create a list, name it vacant properties, and you can either send them direct mail or you can send them to the dialer within ReSimply CRM and start cold calling those lists so to create opportunities to close deals. Now you're probably sitting there saying, okay, yeah, Ty, that all sounds good, but why is this stuff important? Well, I can give you a few reasons on why this stuff is important. The first one is it lowers your marketing costs. And the, the way that it lowers your marketing costs is by you being more specific and targeted in terms of who you are marketing to. You don't want to be marketing to people who are not motivated. So it's allowing you to be specific in terms of who you are targeting your marketing and using your marketing expenses towards. The next reason is a higher conversion rate. And you achieve a higher conversion rate by being very strategic and focused with your marketing. So remember those lists that we talked about that you can create? An example of doing this is by being able to target higher motivated sellers ideally based on the list that they are on for example let's say you pull a list of a vacant property of vacant properties from this source you pull a list of code violation properties from this source and let's say you pull a list of fire damage properties from this source so you have three different sources three different lists vacant code violation fire damage what you'll do in the list stacker is you'll sort those lists out and you'll stack those lists upon each other. So now you are combining all those lists to one list with property owners that have all three of those situations stacked on top of each other. So now you done took all three of those separate lists, turned it into one list in which properties have all three of those different situations in one. So now you have a list of 100 vacants, 100 cold violations, 100 fire damage, and now we just combine them to, let's say, 50 that have all three of those combined. Now that is how you target higher motivated sellers and you save money by doing that because now we're going after those sellers that will be 
maybe more willing to sell that property. And then lastly, it allows you to be more organized. You can keep all of your data in one location. They're not in all these different Google Sheets. They're not in all these Excel files scattered across your computer or in a Google Drive. You have all of your data in one area that is named and you use the tags to sort to make sure that you have organization with your list so you'll be able to easily access your data without any issues or confusion. Now I understand some people are more visual learners than others, so what we're gonna do now is jump into the ReSimply's list stacking feature and I'll show you an overview of how it looks and so you can have a better understanding and idea on how to utilize it in your real estate business. So once you log into your ReSimply account, you're gonna go over to the left menu, hover over this button here, marketing, go to list stacking. Okay, I'm going to give you a brief overview of these columns here. So the first one is going to be the list stacking dashboard. You have total records, all the properties that are uploaded into the system, how many are in leads, marketing reach, no marketing, ones that you've reached out to or haven't reached out to is going to break that down right there. Um, numbers breakdown, mobile landline, other uh, records with phone numbers, total vacant, total opt-out, owner types, absentee, et cetera ownership type individual company etc so you have all your basically your kpis and your data here of your list then you have your property addresses tab right so you have the property once you upload the properties then all your properties will be stored here property address column in leads if they're uh if these are already in leads or converted into leads they'll be identified here and what status that they're in marketing type uh whether the property is vacant ownership type owner type etc the list type and the tag so when you upload your list you will create a tag for that particular list name it and then the same thing you can create a specific list for that list inside of the list stacking fit tab okay the record type right this is going to either show incomplete or complete um, basically this is uh, going to tell you that information is missing for example the mailing address is missing here some of them might say invalid property address some might say a phone number is missing uh, just really depends on what the situation is for that particular record like this one phone number is missing but what happens is you can update it edit it if you need to there um, and what have you the next column is the phone number column shows you how many phone numbers are associated with that particular seller and then you can edit or delete a record, okay? The next thing we're gonna get into the import log. This is gonna show you the list that you uploaded, what you named it, et cetera, how many records were added versus the total records, valid, invalid, updated, duplicate, cancel, et cetera. So this is gonna give you a breakdown of the list itself that you uploaded. Skip tracing, if you skip trace through ReSimply, then those records will be found here export logs if you exported any records or any lists those will be found here tags these are all the tags that you created within resimply to identify what list belongs to what what property belongs to what list the list column this is going to show you all of the lists that you have created within resimply there's also kpis that go along with that right total records which ones you sent direct mail to which ones you cold calling which one you sent SMS, RVM, uh, how many leads you got from a particular list, how many offers you made from that list, under contract, and how many deals you closed from that particular list, okay? And that's pretty much an overview of the columns here. So most of the, your work will be done in the property address section, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you about how to add records to the list stacking. So what we're gonna do is go over here to add record, you can do a single upload or bulk upload. So let's do a bulk upload. And what we're going to do, we're going to browse the files. But we're going to make sure, you want to make sure that your file is in CSV format before you upload it here. So let's go ahead and hit browse file. And then I'm going to find a list, preferably a short one. Let that upload. And this is important. We want to map the columns. If you've never mapped columns before, this is very crucial and critical to ensure that the information that you are uploading from your Excel spreadsheets or your Google Sheets are going to be accurately uploaded into the platform that you're using. Okay. So mapping columns is pretty simple. You have the left side here, which is the columns in the spreadsheet, and you have the columns that are being mapped. Now, if you read below here, here's an important note. 
the required columns are property street address, property city, property state, and property zip code, okay? Now with that, we wanna make sure we map a few things. Me personally, I map specific things. You can have the flexibility to map whatever you like, but I'm gonna tell you what I personally map. I map first name with the first name, last name with the last name, okay? Remember property city with property city, property state with property state, property street with property street, and property zip code with property zip code, right? We need those required ones. And then what else is important? The phone numbers. If you don't have the phone numbers in your list when you upload it, that's fine. You don't necessarily need them. You can skip trace within the list stacking feature as well. So don't be alarmed if you don't have the numbers already. Just go ahead and upload it and use the skip tracing feature there. But we, in this case, we have the phone numbers. So I'm going to locate phone number one. Then I'm going to find it here. Phone number two. Find it here. And then phone number three. Find it here. Okay. And you can put phone type if you like. I just put necessary stuff that I like to use, but you have the flexibility to do whatever you like. And then lastly, I like to do is upload emails, okay? Because you want to have the seller's email as well. Email for your email marketing campaigns. Email one, and you can do email two if you like. And then anything else you like, you can do. And then you go to next. And when you go to next, we're going to create a new list. Or you can use an existing list. But we're going to name this one test fire damage create and what we're going to do is create or use existing tags right so i'm going to just create a new tag i'm going to just name it test fire damage create tag and then i leave all of these as is and then i hit submit this one's a small list only 32 records it's processing right now so it's going to take a few few seconds to go ahead and process and upload Okay, so these ones, it says 0 out of 32 imported, but the reason why is because I already have these inside of here. So it went to the updated column, as you can see. So 32 records were updated, 32, you know, is what I had on the list. So we're going to go ahead and go to property addresses, right? And what we're going to do, we're going to filter them out, right? So we're going to hit this filter button here, and we're going to filter it by tags to include tags to include is and we're going to select the tag and remember it was a test fire damage so we'll go hit that button and we'll hit apply filter so we can see all 32 of the records that we have okay so now we are filtering and sorting the list out and this is very important we're organizing our data so now whenever we want to find this fire damage list then we'll be able to find it or any properties that are fire damaged that we uploaded using that tag feature is very important okay so now the next thing we want to do, okay, we want to create lists and let's stack our lists, okay? So stacking the list is we're gathering two or more different type of sellers situations. For example, there may be fire damage with a code violation and it's vacant. So those three different situations, we want to stack those up and create that specific targeted seller list that we may assume to be a higher motivated seller because of all three of those stack forms of distress on that particular one property. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and filter, hit filter. List count is more than, we're going to put one, apply filter. And by doing that, it's going to pull up all the properties that are on more than one list, okay? So for example, this one here is a code violation and fire damage, code violation and fire damage, right? So what we can do, we can select all, right? And by selecting all, we can go ahead and select an action. We can add a list, add to a list, right? And we can create a new list, right? Um, stack, code violation, and fire damage. Right, so we just made a new list that we can target, okay? And by doing that, we can go ahead and hit action and we can mark it to this particular list, right? We can send it to the dialer, right? By sending it to the dialer, we can cold call the list or we can order direct mail. 
and send direct mail to those to that list of those properties okay so that is the key feature in list stacking okay you have the ability to narrow down your list and strategically market to specific seller types that will increase your chances of converting those deals okay and then the last thing here i want to show you guys is for example let's look at a property let's say you uploaded a list and it's missing a phone number for example like this one is incomplete missing a phone number this one's incomplete missing a phone number so i'm gonna show you how to skip trace within the platform go to filter we're gonna scroll down to phone number phone number equals doesn't have a number okay and we apply that filter so boom now all the properties that does not have numbers show up and what we can do to easily skip trace it select all right select all right here then go to action go to skip trace and boom we'll name it test and then you hit proceed okay but make sure you have skip tracing credits to do that and that is pretty much an overview of the list stacking feature inside resimply crm i hope this video has brought you some type of value if it has make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on how to use the resimply platform if you're interested in trying out the software make sure you click the link in the description below for a free trial and sign up today thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video